next Friday is Homewood's Harvest Festival. Homewood's been celebrating Harvest for the past three or four years and uh, over that time we've done a huge amount to support our local community. Harvest Festival used to be about uh, the fields, the crops, uh, the animals and giving thanks to God for all that had grown. And maybe for some of us that's not so relevant anymore. We live in our towns, we buy our food from the supermarket. But it's gained a renewed sense of importance uh, with the invention of food banks uh, and all that means for our local community. So once again this year Homewood School is inviting you to support your local community through Harvest Festival. Last year you guys gave a third of a tonne of food to support those in need across our community. In fact that equals about 800 tins of beans that you guys gave. And that sounds like quite a lot but in reality when there's two and a half thousand of us on the site at Homewood I think we can do a lot better than that. So my plea to you this Friday is for you to bring something to support those in need in our community. A tin of beans, a box of custard, some cereal, chocolate spread, whatever it might be, something that is non-perishable that those in our community can use. Bring it to school on Friday um, and we'll get it to those in need. This year we'll be supporting Ashford Family Food Bank again, which provides emergency food parcels for those in our community who have nothing are unable to put food on their table for their family and they provide a food parcel which will give them three days of food uh, and emergency supplies to get them through that crisis point in their lives. If everyone in our school brought in a tin of food we would be able to supply a ton of food uh, for the Ashford Family Food Bank and provide a huge amount of impact to community in our area. But this year we've decided at Homewood not just to think about those in our locality who need our help but those across the world. Many, many of you will have seen the photos and the video uh, of refugees fleeing from their lives, fleeing from their homes with, all the, with only what they're standing up in um, and trying to find and make a new life somewhere else. Many of those have been children and I'm sure some of you saw the photos on newspapers across the country of the little boy uh, who died on his journey to Europe. A journey that is full of danger and a journey that they are seeking safety from. So we're asking not only this year for you to bring in gifts of food um, and gifts to go to the Ashford Family Food Bank, but also to bring gifts of money. That money will go to support those refugees who are in dire need across our country, across our continent and across our world. So if those two things happen this Friday, if you're able to bring in some food and a pound, a couple of pound to give to the refugee crisis, we'd be really grateful. Two of you from each form are also going to be invited to be part of our Harvest Festival at St Milner's Church and your form tutor will be able to give you letters uh, for those of you who'd like to come. But this is a whole school effort. If everyone brought in one tin uh, and one pound, we'd be able to make a huge impact to our community in Ashford, Tenterden and surrounding villages and to our world. We're now going to see a short video which is of Benedict Cumberbatch um, who uh, has been in Sherlock Holmes uh, and many other films uh, giving us a short bit of information about the Syrian refugee crisis. Thank you once again for your help in advance and I do hope that you'll join with us this Friday as we give to those who are less fortunate ourselves in our community. We are currently in the middle of a terrible humanitarian crisis. Around the world nearly 60 million people are fleeing their homes. It's the largest number in history, larger than anything since the Second World War. 11 million of these people are Syrian and they are fleeing unimaginable horrors, the horrors of war, bombings, sniper fire, torture and hunger. And they are people just like you and me. They are fathers and mothers and children. And they're having to leave everything they've ever known, their homes, their safety. And they're having to walk across countries, borders, along motorways, down roads to paths leading to beaches and to the sea and to the boats. There's a poem by Washan Shire called Home. No one leaves home unless home is the mouth of a shark. You only run for the border when you see your whole city running as well. You have to understand, no one puts their children in boats unless the boats and sea are safer than the land. We want to say, as people watching this tragedy unfold from the safety of our homes with our safe children, that we hear you, we see you, and help is coming.